All right, so today I've got a game changer for Poshmark drop shipping. Now I've covered tutorials like this in the past on this channel, and essentially it's one of if well now that Facebook Marketplace is somewhere that you can kind of successfully drop ship with the same kind of um, strategy, essentially, which is what yesterday's video is. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll make sure to link it at the bottom of the description so you can do so after this video. But basically, what I recommend, the only form of drop shipping that I personally recommend um, on retail websites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Amazon. Facebook Marketplace is this form right here where you're getting it to your door first, okay? So I'm gonna run you through a full tutorial here today, but like I said, I've covered this in depth in the past. The only issue with it is it took a while to list, right? Because you couldn't necessarily, it's not like eBay where there's a lot of softwares out there that will just scan Amazon and take like hundreds or thousands of listings and post them all to eBay and you can just you know mark the price up super super quickly right that's what made eBay drop shipping so effective and so efficient was because there were so many softwares out there that would literally just automate the entire process for you and you could list so many listings so fast and it was just a numbers game right there's nothing like that for Poshmark. It does work very, very well, but then you have to spend the time and do the legwork ahead of time to actually list, right? And one of the issues in the past was it took a while to list things, right? The first and probably the main thing that you have to do that takes the most time is copy the pictures, okay? So for this specifically, what I used to recommend is you go into the picture, you right click, you save the image as, and you literally type out like all the keywords so that it saves it as the metadata, right? And then you save it, okay? So that's what I used to recommend to people, but then you have to do that for eight different pictures and that doesn't take too long, but even if it takes you two to three minutes per listing, that's you can only do so many in a row within like the hour and you're not really getting that much done, right? Another problem that you see, especially because I recommend doing this on Poshmark, the way that I'm about to show you, is obviously doing clothing. But an issue with the clothing is when you go to save the picture, you can't actually click on not every single clothing uh, listing, but most clothing listings, you can't actually click on that, right? So what you used to have to do is you used to have to come and take a screenshot of the actual picture a lot like this, and it's gonna get my, my little camera here in, in the way, but just to kind of show you really fast, and you used to have to take a screenshot and then come in and save it as all the keywords, right? And so you literally had to do that for every single picture and it took like five minutes to list a, you know, a, a clothing listing on the Poshmark for dropshipping, right? But now there's actually, I was looking for these for a while and a lot of the ones in the past that I found extension wise would compress all the images super quickly, which is great, that's what we're looking for, but then the quality of the pictures wouldn't be that good and there's a number of them out there that do that. But this one right here works perfectly. It's called Amazon Image Downloader and it's 100% free. And literally all you do right here when you're on the listing, I'll show you how to actually list this from Amazon to Poshmark here in a second and why it's so effective and how I go about doing it. But this tool is a complete game changer for this because it saves you so much time. You don't have to manually go in and save all the pictures and it saves all the pictures with their metadata and the exact title, right? So you're on the listing, you literally click it right there, you click download the current tab, and it's gonna take you over here. Now, if there's a bunch of different variations, you'll see it pop up with a bunch of different variations. Just find the right variation for your specific size that you're looking for, the color, whatever it is, right? The condition, the variation, etc. So there it is. All of those pictures are right here, and I can just download them all. And you'll see down here, it saves it as the specific keywords, two pack, scout brush, blah, blah, blah. I think I was right here. So download this one, download this one, download this one. And it makes downloading the pictures so much faster. And you might think right off the bat, like that doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but when you're when it's a numbers game and you're doing it and you're trying to list like a hundred or a thousand drop shipping listings within the week, right? So that you can obviously get this business up and running, the, those those minute details of like saving two to three minutes per listing are going to make a massive difference and let you you know list a lot faster and get more listings up right so then it becomes easy to list because now we have all the pictures we can simply just copy and paste the pictures in there it saves them in folders sometimes sometimes it just goes directly to your downloads but you get the picture and you just want to make sure that 
the first one is in there. And then look, it copied all the pictures for me super, super easily, okay? And then what you do is just to kind of go through it fast, I would come up with a good title. I'm just, for the sake of the demo here, I'm not gonna actually come up with it because I have, I've actually done this tutorial probably three times now. And at the end of this video, I'll link the tutorial that goes in depth on how I approach all of these, th these things. And you can just use all the insight and the strategy in that tutorial right there along with the the uh, extension that I've just shown you right here and combine them and it works super, super well, okay? And this is a great business model for you know beginners that don't have a lot of money but have a lot of time. If you have a lot of money, then you wanna move towards one of the more scalable business models like you know book sourcing with softwares like eFlip or Zen Arbitrage, right? Or wholesale, okay? Or any, so any software driven online arbitrage like you can source a little bit of liquidation, although that doesn't really work that well with software for Amazon. And you can also source things like video games or retail products from sites like Walmart and Best Buy with, uh, you know, um, software like Tactical Arbitrage and Source Mogul and stuff like that, right? So those are the more scalable online arbitrage business models. And this is scalable, don't get me wrong, but it's more kind of geared towards beginners that have more time than money because you can spend time listing products. You don't have to actually spend the money ahead of time until you're insured the sale and you've locked down the profit margin, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna drop that tutorial at the end of this video right here, but just for the sake of showing you here in this demo, I'm gonna copy a title in. I would come up with a better title here that's you know reads a little bit better here. Then I would copy as much of the description as I can. And you can also list these on Facebook Marketplace as well. I did that tutorial yesterday. Like I said, I'll link that at the bottom of the description as well. And just for the sake of the demo right here, I'm not gonna actually come up with the best description, the best title just to kind of show you because you can do that, it's common sense, right? And then what I would do is I have a folder. It's There's a bigger folder on my desktop over there where I actually kind of house the majority of these, but I have a folder right here with a lot of drop shipping listings and I number them, right? So that I know at the bottom of my description on every listing, I have a specific number. So if I come back in here, I'm on 53, right? So I'm gonna save this one as 53 and then I'm also going to save this listing right here on my desktop as the shortcut URL and I'm gonna call it 53. And then I'm gonna drag it into my dropshipping folder. And I know literally when anybody comes and buys the listing with the number 53 at the bottom of the description, I come into my folder, I click this actual uh, number right here, and I know that I go, have to go directly to that listing and purchase that product. And that's how I kind of keep track of my inventory super, super easily, and anybody can do it that way. It makes it super simple, okay? And then you wanna categorize it, uh, obviously put the size in and everything. And then the only other thing that you really need to kind of worry about, obviously with all the specs here, is the price. You wanna upcharge them, that's the whole point of doing the dropshipping like this. So you can buy this for $9, and obviously, the, what I usually recommend for people is to go after things with a lot of ratings that are already ranked high on Amazon, or a site like Walmart or anywhere that's gonna give you like one or two day shipping because you wanna wait until the, somebody orders it on Poshmark in this specific case. And then when they order it on Poshmark, you have two to three days to ship it out on Poshmark. So then you wanna order it from Amazon, get it delivered to your house and then ship it out to the customer that way, okay? That way you don't have to purchase the product. You don't have to hold on to inventory or purchase inventory until you actually get the sale and then you've already upcharged somebody, right? So it's gonna cost us nine bucks here. So I can list this for like 20, on Poshmark and then I'm making $16, I'm spending nine, so that's a $7 profit margin when somebody buys from this listing, right? And that's basically how I set it up, that's how I do the drop shipping on Poshmark, but this extension now is a complete game changer. To show you an example right here, instead of actually having to snip this out like I showed you you had to do before, I can just click the extension on here and I'll go download current tabs. It's also gonna take all the pictures for all these variations as well, but you just wanna grab the pictures for this variation, download the current tab, we'll let it load, and it's gonna take all the variation pictures as you see loading up here, and then you just come in and you download all the ones that you want from whichever one you want. You can even download them all, list them all. But this extension is a game changer for uh, dropshipping on Poshmark. I highly recommend, and dropshipping on, on Facebook Marketplace as well, but I'm gonna cover a list perfectly, which is a multi-channel listing software demo in a future uh, on a future day, either tomorrow or the day after probably. Um, so I just recommend that you list it everywhere, on, on, like from the get-go anyway. But if you just wanna list on Poshmark or you don't wanna list on other places you know, right away and you just kinda of wanna get your feet wet with this, then I would recommend starting uh, with Poshmark. So I really hope that, that helps, guys. This is the type of stuff that I go over 
in-depth in Resale University. If you want to learn more about how Resale University can help you specifically, there is a free short 10 minute video linked down in the description. It's the first link in the description that will cover how it can help you specifically. It will give you a short demo uh, from the back end and student perspective of the course, as well as give you countless examples of other people that it's helped just like you. So go out, use this, test it for yourself. You will see that it works for you. It's 100% free. You don't have to actually spend any money to download this extension. And then once you see that it works for you, it will inspire you to scale it up. I also did an entire tutorial in depth of how you can actually go about doing this on Poshmark, a little bit more about like the back end of it, how you can perform it. So this today was just kind of like an overview of how the extension can help you make this business model easier. If you wanna see a full tutorial, click the video up in the right hand corner right now. I'll make sure to link it. I'll also drop it at the bottom of the description below. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like if you appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.